What's up, DP? I'm Curator House. I'm Nick Sultan. DP News starts now. Yesterday was an extremely productive day for the seniors. The senior lip dub was filmed all around campus from the theater to the pool. The finished lip dub will air in the EPAC on Sloth Day Monday. What is a sloth, Nick? Well, Kira, a sloth is a mellow mammal from South America. But a sloth day isn't about dressing up like a sloth. Sloth day is a great time to wear your comfy, relaxing clothes or PJs. PJ day on Monday? Wow! Don't we have to wear something special tomorrow, too? That's right, Kira. Tomorrow on the Greek is the pep rally. Freshmen wear black, sophomores wear yellow, juniors wear blue, and seniors wear white. The senior shirts will be available today at lunch in the Greek and tomorrow before school and at nutrition for $20. Come out tomorrow in your, your colors and show your school spirit for the game against San Marcos tomorrow night here at 7. Don't forget, the homecoming dance is Saturday, October 26. The, this year's theme is denim and diamonds. Today and tomorrow are the last days you can pick up a guest form from Ms. Rehag's office, and the forms must be completed before you can buy your tickets. No tickets will be sold at the door, so be sure to buy them early. Tickets are on sale during lunch outside the activities office this week and outside the business office next week. They are $12 with a charger card, $17 without a charger card, and $20 with, for outside guests. You might order your ticket online at the, DPH, the DPHS web store if you'd like. If you want to buy a ticket for a date, you must log into their account. Tomorrow, representatives from Westmont College and Georgia Tech will be in the library at 9 and 12.50. Be sure to get a note from your teacher during that period to check out those colleges. Clubs happening today at lunch are Science Club, Social Equality Club, Dream Team, Twister Club, Bilingual Guitar Club, and the Mesa Club is meeting after school. Any clubs or organizations and team captains who want to be represented as a lord or a lady at the homecoming game, there is a mandatory meeting today at lunch in H30. Send someone from your club to show interest. Make sure your representatives' names are submitted by Monday. That's all the campus news we have for you today. Stay in school, Dos Pueblos. I'm Nick. <laughs> I'm Kira. Have a fabulous day, DP. Now here's Jessica with sports. Hey, DP. On Tuesday night, our girls' volleyball team fought hard against our rivals, the Santa Barbara Dons, in a tough Channel League match. Our girls rallied through a close first set, falling short just 25-23. to 23. Neck and neck in the second set, our Chargers trailed close behind, but lost 25-17 to 17 and 25-16 to 16 in the third set. Team members Natalie Clapp, McKenna Goss with seven kills, and Taya Burdick gave it their all out there, but fell just short of the Dons' hitters. We'll get them next time. Our girls' golf team reigned on Glen Annie Golf Course this Tuesday, beating Rigetti with a 197-280 to score, making this the team's first score under 200 this season. Team medalist Megan Caird helped lead the team to victory, sinking a 38-foot putt on the eighth hole, while other major contributors, Mika Henriksen, Mariah Ramirez, Leah Dunn, and Hannah Nolan helped serve Rigetti its first loss this season. Today, our girls' golf will be playing at home against Ventura for their last league match. Great job, girls. You're doing awesome. Also on Tuesday, boys' water polo beat down Ventura in their Channel League game with a win of 12-6. to Sophomore Jake Griffin defeated Ventura's top player, while team members Blake Parrish, Scott Mahan, and Taylor Gustafson each scored three goals, bringing our team to their big win. They finish off their first round of Channel League with an undefeated streak of 4-0 and stand at an overall record of 10-6. Today, girls' tennis plays against Ventura. Cross Country has their second Channel League meet at Arroyo Verde Park. Boys' volleyball and boys' water polo both play away at Santa Barbara. And girls' volleyball plays tonight in our gym against the Buena Bulldogs at 6. And don't forget that we have a huge football game tomorrow against our biggest rival, San Marcos, here at home at 7 o'clock. And that wraps it up for your sports news today, DP. I'm Jessica Brest, over and out.